I think that the fundamental issue that we're going to be facing as a species is how to maintain our existence on the planet without destroying it. And I think that we have the capacity, it's completely within our control, to make sure that we, um, that we don't destroy it. It's not inevitable, but it's going to take some drastic steps. And the word sustainability, to me, means taking those steps. The solar panel produces way more than the house uses, partly because the house doesn't use any energy to heat or cool, and the hot water is all from the solar thermal panels. As far as the actual functioning of the house, we had fairly complex spreadsheets of um, calculating the ins and outs of energy inputs from, from the sun. and. Uh, how the house would cool overnight and we just played with insulation levels and glazing levels and exposure to the sun until we could sort of carefully balance the amount of glazing and sun intake and the amount of heat we would lose on the coldest night of the year and how much heat we could store in the mass of the house. We took each design decision and each material on its own and we'd analyze where did it come from and what went into creating it and what was its next step in life. Was it the landfill or was it going to biodegrade or how long was it going to last? And took that general set of questions to every piece of the house. I would hope that this house would give an example that it really is not that difficult to design a house in this area that doesn't use any energy for heating or cooling. <laughs>